that's the time to uh, get started. Uh, thanks be to God for another day allowing us to come to Bible study. Uh, thank God for those that are on Zoom, those that are coming on, those who are on their way. Just good to be here. Amen. Amen. Let us repeat the Lord's prayer. We are starting uh, left off in Proverbs, the first chapter. The verse 20, and we'll deal with that. If it be the Lord, will wisdom cries in the street. Wisdom cries in the street. Um, Proverbs, first chapter, verse 20. That's where we begin. Uh, let us repeat the Lord's prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Proverbs, the uh, first chapter, verses 20 through 33. It deals with wisdom cries in the street. Uh, wisdom cries in the street. Uh, verse 20, 21, and 22. Wisdom, wisdom cried without. She uttered her, her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of con concourse. Mm -hmm. concourse. In the opening of the gates in the city of utter her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love? Sympathy, the scorners delight, their scorning and fools take knowledge. Mm -hmm. 23, 24, and 25. Okay. It comes on. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my word unto you. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regard. But ye have set at not at all my counsel, and would not of my reproof. Amen. Verse, verse 26, 27, and 28 says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation. And your destruction cometh uh, as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Uh, Lord, help us, Jesus. Yeah, we'll start there. <clears throat> we'll start there. We'll, we'll start there. Wisdom cries in the street. Here, wisdom cries without. It says wisdom really is crying out in the streets. And Lord, have mercy. I, 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 I got kind of, I got kind of discouraged and, and you, know, you get disappointed. Uh, you hear all of the things that's going on in the streets, yes. in the world. Yes. Uh, sad. Got off work today and turned the radio on and heard that there was a shooting down at T.W. Joseph, right, right down Augusta. In Yesterday was in Burke County. Yes. Lord yes. have mercy. Oh, God. And 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 I think what the day is when it was either Monday or yes, might have been yesterday also. Guy was telling me, he said, you know, uh, he was 
his friend didn't come to work. I said, I said, where your friend at? He said, he said, he, he didn't come to work. They say they, they had a shooting over over at his house, over his oh, apartment complex early Tuesday morning there in Thompson. Probably uh, a couple of miles down the road from me. I, I stayed I stayed back in the country, but probably about three miles over in a subdivision. Uh, from from my understanding, that's where he stayed. But uh, wisdom really need to be taken in the street. Uh, I know. Uh, thank God for uh, Pastor uh, favor they are having uh, all men's. I think it is call for prayer today. Uh, but yet we as the people, we need to take wisdom to the street. We need to take our Bibles to the street. We need to take the word of God to the street because Lord have mercy. It's, it's, it's bad when children can't even go to school. We hear about this out, you know, in other states, but when it comes home, it, it's really disturbing. Yeah. Really disturbing. So wisdom does need to cry out in the street. She ought to her voice in the street. Uh, but yet, just like so many, as much as you talk to folks, they are like they don't hear you. Right. Amen. Amen. It's sad. She cries in the chief place. It, it, it matter not where wisdom cry. Wisdom could cry in the church house. Wisdom can cry in your house. Lord, no wisdom cried for the last few years in the White House and they still haven't heard. That's right. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. It's, it's, it's sad. People just don't have any uh, God on their side nor heaven in their view. She, she cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates. So wherever wisdom can go, wisdom is crying, but yet people are not hearing. And Truth be told, we don't always listen to wisdom ourselves. Right, right. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long? That's a good question. How long? How long are we going to keep on going on with this foolishness in this world? How long do we have to keep going on with all of that that's, that's happening in our schools and, and in the White House and in and in and, and Congress and 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 everywhere you go nowadays, where people just won't listen to wisdom, won't listen to sound mind, won't listen to judgment. How long, ye simple ones? Here, here Solomon uh, calls the person simple or pretty well much ignorant or unlearned. Ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? I found out and I learned that a lot of people, when they get in there, stuck in their old ways, they begin to like it. They love it. Do you have a habit that you seems to can't break because you like doing it? You know, some people, they, you know, some people, they like, they got bad habits. You know, some smoke, some drink, some, some things they, they, they love it. And they'll tell you, I, 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 I drink a little bit, but, I love it. I, I, I don't want to quit. So, go ahead. Go ahead. I got a bad habit. I wish I could go. I could put $500 in the bank today. Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm dying to be in that song. I wish I could learn how to stay. Well, the scripture tells us, and even scripture tells us that we are supposed to be good stewards. But yet, if you put five hundred dollars in the bank today, you really got to take a look at your lifestyle and what you're really doing with it. Wasting it up. I'm, I'm too I mean, I, I mean, that's true. But yeah, we all do. We all do waste from time to time. And and when you have to, you have to really look at yourself. And 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 you know that old cliche: waste not, won't not. And and truth be told, like I said, just we talk about it often. We all got habits, and, and I I I just kick mine. I you know I I heard wisdom. 
I, I heard wisdom. Did I say I heard wisdom? <laughs> I heard wisdom and I heard Sister Neil. <laughs> you had help. No, it wasn't no help. It wasn't help. She, she, it wasn't no help. She, she was just, what were you doing, baby? She's on Zoom. <laughs> what you call the help? I mean, she did, she did repeat it. And people speak wisdom. You just have to learn how to hear it and understand it. But yeah. what I mean, you had help. Or she your help me. Well, actually, Actually, like I say, when, when somebody speaks wisdom, it's up to us to take it in. Scripture will tell you just, in just a second. Uh, really, I won't I won't say that she helped. She did like she did like wisdom did. She put it in the street. She she put it out in the air. It was up to me to hear it and receive it. I could have turned a deaf ear and still been spending a whole bunch of money on junk food. But yet. For some strange reason, I just said when we were having the conversation, I just said I ain't going to buy no more. No. So we have to make it up in our mind and our heart to, you know, when we know we not listen to wisdom and, and we have to pray and ask God for wisdom and knowledge and understanding that he will lead us in the right direction and take Sometimes you have to be careful when you ask God to take those old bad habits away from you. Yeah. You got to be careful what you ask for. Yeah. Amen. How long? And that's a good question. Have you ever been in a situation and somebody say, child, if I were you, I, I wouldn't do this. Child, if I was you, I wouldn't do that. And you say, well, you're right. I know. I know I should, but how long are you going to keep on doing it? How long? I mean, now, come on now. Now, now sister, you said, you know, if you had $500 in the bank today, you'll go take it out and you'll be broke today. How long are you going to keep on going well, through this? I've been going through this for years. Yeah, but. It's time. It's time. Well, wait. Right yeah. How long? And like I say, you have to pray to God and ask you, uh, how long you will be simple or simplicity? You love simplicity. And the scorners delight in their scorning. It's just like people that are always talking about other folk, scorning other folk. They keep on doing it because they love trying to make somebody else look bad. They're always talking about them. Sometimes people do that. They'll scorn other folk to try to make themselves look bigger and make that other person look smaller. Yeah, I mean, you can do it because think about it. You didn't, you didn't come in this world just spending money. Yeah, a veil, but you weren't spending money. What is the What is the veil? I don't know, but she had a veil on her face. I didn't ask because then I, I wasn't concerned about that. Okay. So how long will a fool be a fool? Something to think about, ain't it? But that's what the mean, that's what the scripture said. I'm I'm not calling you a fool. I'm just I'm, no 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 no. I'm, I'm I'm not calling you a fool. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm reading here where it says, how long will a fool hate knowledge? Like I said, you could tell a person something over and over again, but they won't listen to you. Gosh, how many times have you said yourself, wish to have listened to mama? Mm -hmm. I wish I wish I had listened to the principal. I wish I had listened to the teacher. Verse 23 says, Turn you at my reproof. Like I said, wisdom here is, is personified as a as a as a woman. And you can take you can take wisdom from women. A lot of people got their uh, male chauvinist idea, but here Solomon uh, depict wisdom as a woman, and, and 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 she says in verse twenty three, "Turn you at my reproof, my my reproof." You know, 
sometimes you got to be stern with folks when they won't hear you. Wisdom is here trying to get people to listen to it because if you listen to wisdom, it'll save you a, lot, a whole lot of heartaches. Amen. Uh, I wish I wish I had a wish I had a did this and I wish I had a did that. Like I said, to re, to to reprove is to call someone to an account. You you really got you got to hold somebody to the fire when they when they keep on doing the same old thing and you keep trying to tell them right from wrong. You got to hold them. You got to hold them accountable. Some people you have to even threat hmm. with punishment. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Mama said, and I, I, and I told you one time, if I had to come back down, I ain't going to tell you no more. Sometimes you have to threaten folks if they don't listen to wisdom. Behold, listen to what wisdom say. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And, and it's, 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 it's amazing. We know right from wrong. We know when we hear the words of wisdom. We know when we hear God's word, but yet we turn away from it. Amen. Wisdom says, I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye or you refuse. Wisdom called, but you got call ID. You screen, you screening your calls. Mm-hmm. Looking at the phone. Yes, amen. Yeah, amen. Looking at the phone. No, well, I don't, I don't feel like being bothered with them. Yeah, they let, they don't want nothing. All they doing every time I turn around, they just they 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 sit there and just try to get on my nerves. Sit there and try to correct me. I'm grown. I don't know who they think they. Wisdom called us, but yet we refuse. Wisdom stretched out her hand, and no man regarded. You try to lend a person a helping hand. Try to help them out. They disregard it. They don't really want your help. They really, some people don't really want your help. They want what they want from you, but they don't want your help. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Verse 25 said, but ye have set at naught all my counsel. Much as I told you. You ignored it. And with none of my reproof. I, I told you in a nice manner way. I, I, I called you and left a note. But now, even, 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 I even said I was going to punish you. But yet a lot of people won't repent. A lot of people won't turn from their wicked ways. Uh, he, hear, hear, hear wisdom say, say, say none paid attention to him. Verse 26 says, I also will laugh at your calamity. Now, that's something when you, when, when you know better. And then when you fall into hard times or when you fall on your face and you you realize, you say, yeah, I should have dog, I should have listened to mama. When things start to happen to you, and we oftentimes we'll, we wonder why things happen to us. When things start to happen to us, then we start crying, woe is me. But wisdom already tried to get your attention. I will. I was on my way to church and the truck parked in the emergency lane just as you crossed the bridge right there at Raysville. I just looking at just a regular truck. I was doing the I was doing speed limit. I was doing 55. I got up on it and realized it was Lincoln County Police. He pulled out behind me. Now if I had been acting like I was in a hurry, speeding, 
and 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 one paying attention to wisdom because wisdom said the speed limit is 55. But if I wanted to do 65 or 75, he would have pulled me over. Amen. So we got to learn how to listen to wisdom and pay attention to it. Because when things start happening, wisdom gonna laugh at us and gonna mock us. Even when we're scared, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing more embarrassing for somebody to come and know you are in hard time. And they said, "That's it. I told you. I tried to warn you. You want to listen to me? Now what you gonna do? I I, I can't help. It. I ain't got nothing for you. You on your own. Anybody ever told y'all that?" <laughs> You on your own. I mean, I, I tried to help you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. You didn't want my help. Now you now you're coming back, want my help. But I ain't got nothing for you. When your fear cometh as desolation, even when you're scared and you really need somebody, wisdom said, I I, I can't help you. You you all by yourself. You're really scared. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Uh, that's, that's the way life comes at you when you are uh, doing wrong and you won't listen to wisdom. You won't pay attention to the word of God. We do things our own way. But yet when we get uh, when we get in, in a bind, in a fix, when things start happening and they say uh, when it rains, it pours. You know, trouble come one after another like a whirlwind. But wisdom be laughing at us when we're in distress and in anguish because wisdom had already warned us ahead of time. Then shall they call upon me. Oh, and I wish I wish I, I so wish somebody would come and help me. I wish wish I had paid attention. But I will not answer. Have you ever called on the Lord and it seemed like God wouldn't answer you? I call on the Lord all night long. But it seemed like the more you call him, he didn't answer you. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early. And when a person learn better, that's when they want to do better. They, they get up early in the morning and, and start doing things, uh, trying to do things the right way. But they shall not find me. That You won't find wisdom after, after you don't got it. Until you lay in that bed, you, you make your bed hard, you got to lay in it. For verse 29 said, for that they hated knowledge. My people err for lack of knowledge. People go wrong and people, people the scripture says that, that people, uh, they go astray because lack of knowledge, because they don't know no better. But when you know better, you ought to what? Do better. For they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. If you put God first in everything you do, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The Bible tells us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. We got to go to God first and we got to seek God first before we go out on our own. Amen? Amen? We got to choose to fear the Lord. And we got to reverence to God and we got to praise God and thank God for all he do for us. Verse 30 says, they would, they would none of my counsel. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear you when you give advice. They despise all of my reproof. Like I say, even when people correct you, a lot of people don't like it. They, they hate it. They, you, they see you coming, they'll go the other way. Verse 31 says, therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own weight. Boy, it ain't nothing like eating crow. Y'all like eating crow? Crow, <laughs> crow ain't a good, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a good, it ain't a good taste. I don't know about y'all, but yeah. I hate to be wrong, but when 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 you gotta when you when you gotta eat crow, 
Lord have mercy. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So if you dig one ditch, you better dig two because you're going to fall in one. You know, whatever you, whatever, whatever kind of trap you set up for somebody else, that's the same thing that's going to happen to you. Amen. Whatever device, whatever trick you try to put for somebody else, look out, it's coming back to you. Verse 32 says, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. So when we turn away from God, God don't leave us. We turn away from God. The scripture says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But yet, we oftentimes leave God. We are unfaithful. But God is faithful. We are rebellious. But yet, God is a loving God. When people got money, don't it seem like when people got money, even a lot of people that got money, they don't serve God. It, it often seems like when people get money, they stop coming to church. I, 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 I had a... Don't even, don't, don't even think nothing about it. Uh, yeah. I had, I had a fellow. I had a fellow conversation about money. He was. I stopped going to church because they 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 told me I had to pay my tithes. I said, quit lying. Oh. <laughs> I said, quit lying. You didn't want to go to church in the, in the first place, and quit lying on the preacher because you're saying the preacher told you you couldn't come to church unless you pay your tithes. Mm. It's fact that a matter you don't even go to church enough to talk about church. But when people got money, they they don't think about God. They don't think about serving God. They don't think about coming to church. Amen. Yeah. Because money creates a false uh, sense of security. You know, people got money. They think they got everything. Amen. The Bible tells us to trust in the Lord, not in money, not in things in this world. Amen. Verse 33 says, but whoso hearkeneth unto me, whoever will listen to wisdom shall dwell safely. Boy, I got peace of mind. I got joy divine. I got a love that lasts. I got Jesus, and I know he's mine. When you find wisdom, you can dwell and live safe. You might not be rich, but yet you learn better and you do better and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Lady Wisdom promises true security because there is a close connection between wisdom and God. God will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. Amen. Let us let us go to a verse chapter chapter two, verse one, two, and three. Read, please. My son, if thou receive my word and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline that year unto wisdom and find thy heart to understanding. Yea, if thy criest after knowledge and lift up the boards of understanding for understanding. Amen. Verse 4, 5, and 6. If thou seekest her as a silver in secret searches. But her ass, but in Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. 
for the Lord give his lips out of his mouth, coming knowledge and understanding. Amen. Let everybody say amen. Here the Lord gives wisdom, uh, verses uh, 1 through 9. Uh, verse 1 says, my son, here, here uh, Solomon uh, once again called to the son and, and tell him, if, somebody say if. if. I often say it and I keep saying it, if is a very small word, two-letter word, but yet it has big meaning. If. And, and, and it is conditional. If you do what God say do, then in return, you'll be blessed. Amen. Amen. But if you don't do or follow God's commandment, uh, destruction will find you. Somebody say amen. Look at the word. It said, my son, if thou will receive my words. It's one thing I learned when you talk about receiving the word of God. A lot of people don't want to hear God's word. That's why the churches are not full nowadays. If you look at it, that's why people don't come to Bible study or Sunday school. They'd rather quote script, they rather, they rather quote a saying or cliche or something, or even take advice from their friends, but yet they don't want to hear the word of God. If thou will, will receive my word, point number one. First, you got to receive it. Somebody say amen. Amen. You, if you don't take it, if you don't receive it, you know, I can sit here and give you all the knowledge and all the counseling that you 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 ask for or need, but yet if you don't take it to heart, if you don't take it into your mind, then it won't do you any good. Fact of the matter, it won't even do me any good. Because I just how many times have you told somebody right from wrong? You somebody come to you and ask for some advice, and you give them <laughs> you give them your point of view, and they do something else. So what good is it for you to sit there and keep giving them advice if they're not going to follow it? That's what Solomon said. If thou will receive, you got to take it in. Take it into your heart. But what I learned, whatever is in a person's heart, that's what he's going to do. If thou will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. So we got to write it on the table of our heart and we got to put it in our mind. So therefore, when it comes time, uh, God's word will flow off your tongue or off your mind because it is deeply rooted in you. Even when, when storms come, when, when things happen in life, God's word will be embedded in you. Therefore, you will know how to handle life a whole lot better. Verse 2 says, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. And wisdom already told you that. A lot of people don't want to hear right from wrong. A lot of people don't want to hear wisdom. A lot of people don't want to hear the truth. He that hath an ear, let him hear. That's what the scripture says. But oftentimes, we, we want to do our own thing. Amen? So that thou incline, we have to incline, we have to, we have to turn our ear, not turn a deaf ear. Some people have what they call selective hearing. They hear what they want. And that what they don't want to hear, they turn a deaf ear to it. But when wisdom speaks, we got to pay close attention to it. Not only just pay close attention to it, but we got to learn how to apply it. It don't do any good for me to give you a hundred dollar, and you just go out and spend it and throw it away. Amen. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, if 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 I give you a hundred dollars, wisdom would tell you to take at least ten percent of it. Take ten dollar, give it back to the Lord. Wisdom would tell you take a piece of it and put it up. But what we do, we. <laughs> What we do, sister? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what wisdom does. We got to learn how to apply wisdom. Because if we keep on doing the same old thing, we're going to keep on getting the same old thing. If we keep on doing the same old thing, we're going to keep on getting the same results. 
Amen. So we, when we learn better, we'll do better. We got to learn how to receive wisdom. We got to learn how to hear wisdom. And then we got to learn how to apply wisdom. And if you get an understanding, you can rule the world. If I tell you, Sister Sister T, get up and bring me that hand sanitizer, bring me a napkin, um, and and touch the flower, and then take three steps and hop. Did you understand what I wanted you to do? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all you're getting. <laughs> Out of all you're getting, get understanding. Wait a minute, Pastor. That don't make sense. Why you want me to get you hand sanitizer? Why you need a Kleenex? Why I got to touch the flower? <laughs> Why I got to take three steps? And then you want me to hop. What you want me to hop, Pastor? <laughs> I mean, come on. See, if you get an understanding, that don't make no sense. Why don't I just bring you the hand sanitizer and a clinic and we'll be done? Ain't that good enough? That's reasonable enough. So we got to learn how to get understanding. That way we can apply what is necessary. Because it won't do no good for her to go in and get the hand sanitizer, get a clinic. Why is she going to touch the flower? Why is she going to hop? And how, how is she going to hop? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> verse three says, verse three says, hear, yea, verse three says, yea, if thou criest out the knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding. We are supposed to desire or cry for wisdom, just like I asked T. Pastor, what you say you want? You want, Pastor, you want hand sanitizer, you want to clean it. But listen, Pastor, I ain't doing no jumping, I ain't touching no flower. I'm going to come back and sit down. Wisdom cries out the knowledge. Like I said, when you get understanding, knowledge is power. Yeah. And you got to lift up your voice for understanding. So once you state your claim, then you can live a better life. Verse 4 says, if. Once again, if. If. If you seek her as civil. Point, point, point number two, point number three right here, point number three right here is what do you value most? Have you ever thought about what, what is it in life that you value most? Most people value home. Most people value money. Most people value their friends. A lot of people value their jobs. What is more important to you in life? Wisdom said, if you seek me, as you seek money. Hello, somebody. <laughs> if, if you get up early in the morning and go to the job four, five, six o'clock in the morning, you ought to be able to get up and read instead of God word four, five o'clock in the morning. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say, I don't know, Pastor. I got to get my beauty in that. Huh? I don't know if I can get up that early. But we're supposed to seek wisdom just like we seek silver. And searches for her as for hid treasure. Y'all ever been on a treasure hunt? Yeah. yeah. So that's the way we're supposed to search for wisdom. If you want to know something, you have to go to somebody that got knowledge or somebody that a wise, somebody that 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 knows something. And 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 not you you can't just go to anybody looking for wisdom. Help me somebody. I don't know why people be bothering me at work. Because you got wisdom. 
their knowledge and understanding. Yeah, but but right. they That's but they 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 don't know. I'm gonna reprove them a lot of time. Fella, 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 he, he was picking, I, he was picking at me today. He, what's the word? <laughs> I, I, I said, okay, you ain't got nobody else to talk to today again. Yeah. He goes, what, 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 what's the word? I said, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I said, see, I, I'm, I'm gonna teach you something one day. I said, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You think I'm gonna take some Wisdom from you? Come on now. I know. Might not be. What about speed again about speed? That's why so many folks talk to you come. And sometimes people be led by the devil too. Now listen, listen to listen to what listen to what Eve did. Eve talked with the serpent. The devil can quote scripture. So we have to be careful. Like I said, you, you, just, you just want to have a conversation, we can sit here and talk now, but but when it comes to just, you know, you're not living right and you want me to follow you? <laughs> what, 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 what you going to teach me if you, you, you don't know the Lord, you don't read God's word, but yet you want me to follow you? I, I had another conversation. Fellow told me, say, he said, Ray, Ray, Ray. <laughs> Jesus. Got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to teach you something. Got to teach you something. You see all that, you see all that stuff that's going on over in Paris? The sky done fell out. The world coming to an end. Uh, the burn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. No, 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 no. The sky falling. The sky. I said, Doc, listen, listen at you. Look up there. Ain't that sky still there? <laughs> I thought about it after I thought about it after I had the conversation. Yeah, yeah, but 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 and he said the same thing. But 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 I can I can I can teach you something. No, you can't, you can't teach me nothing. If you saying the sky falling. And the sky don't feel. And I'm sitting up here looking at the sky, and it's still up there. Help me, somebody. Am, am I wrong? Yeah, I said that same. I, I said, I listen, listen, hear me and hear me good. Yes, hear me when I say this. I say it. I said it, and I said it, and I meant it. I said, now listen, we don't had this conversation once before. Every time you come from lunch, you want to holler real. Can't be but one or two things. Either you own something. Oh, <laughs> 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 I, 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 I told him, I don't, 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 don't come at me like that. You, you, you either own something or something wrong with you. Well, I, I told you, I told you, I'm, I'm God within myself. I said that sounds like blasphemy to me. Once again, if a man sit there and say, "Well, I'm 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 Christ like I understand that we are made in God's image, but don't misquote Scripture." Right. There, there, there you go. That was wrong with you. You, 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 you think you can't fight? You, you think you learn? You can't can't learn nothing from it. That that that, that what that what that what that what the people in the Bible did. I said. You don't even read your Bible. <laughs> Help me, somebody. I mean, I'm. You stressed out. Like <laughs> you fell from the sky. Yeah, you, somebody <laughs> told you on the top of your head. Help me, somebody. Lord have mercy. But I, I know, I know, God sent me there because it is a dark place that need to hear from heaven. And and I, I I tried this way and I said, let me show you something. You say you are made in the image of God, but yet you're not walking in the light. First of all, if you are God like and you walk as if you're walking in the light, if you're Christ like, first of all, you want to be walking with your pants hanging down. 
said it. I did. Well, you have to tell them. I, 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 was, I was telling them to. Second of all, you, you, you won't be going around here bumping with a backpack with music on your back one day, and then the next minute you want to hop and talk about rib and try to teach rib something. If you are in the spirit, then you'll be playing at least some Kurt Franklin or something. <laughs> something. <laughs> Help me, somebody. <laughs> I was coming. Oh, at least at least a Bible or something. Yeah, I don't mind having a Bible study, but every time I turn around, you want to pop out your phone and you want to you want to read something you don't you don't read online. Come on. Yeah. I mean, come on, read your Bible. I said, first of all, until you go to the Lord, until you go back to the church, until you find yourself in a Bible study at Sunday school, you can't tell me nothing. Matter of fact, next time I see him, I'm going to tell him, don't even talk to me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's, it's foolishness, it's devilishness. Can I move on? Just just no, no, no. We ain't having a conversation today. And 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 I and I say, I said, first of all, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna show you exactly what you said. I pulled out my phone, I said, let me show you something. I said, I'll look for a picture. I was looking for a picture of my daddy, and I was gonna show him. We are when you talk about being Christ-like, we're supposed to be the image of who we claim to be. If I'm Christ-like, I should act as a Christian. I should do the things of Christ. If I am God's child, I ought to do the things of God. So I couldn't find a picture of my daddy. I said, well, this will work just to find. I showed him a picture of Freddie Jr. Okay. I, I said, you see me? You see me when I was in school, my graduation picture? Yeah! Yeah! He said, "Yeah, I see you. You look, you look like he called some rapper name or some some song. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and I said, I said, well, that that don't matter. I'm, I I take that whatever you say. But yeah, this is my point. This is an image of me. This ought to walk and live like me because it is an image of me. Same way it is with me and my daddy. I bear the image of my daddy, so I look just like him." So as the father, I should walk and live as God walk and live and talk. Amen. So you gotta you gotta walk the walk and you gotta talk the talk. You can't be straddling the fence. So so yet it's according to what we value, according to how we live our life, and pay attention to what wisdom is trying to tell us. Verse 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 five verse five says. Then shalt thou understand. See, if you get an understand, if you understand that you shall fear God, you can't fear the Lord with some of the things that are coming out of your mouth. The way you the way you act, unless you reverence God, unless you unless you are living for God, then then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. So we got to. Just, 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 just reading the Bible or just, just quoting scripture. It won't. We got to study God's word. We got to learn how to how to ask God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We got to be a student of the word of God. In order, in order to receive God's word, we got to read it daily. Somebody say something. Amen. But yet, many people they they despise reading the word of God. They they despise coming to church. They despise anything that is of God. We got to seek God passionately. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Yes. Verse, verse, verse 7 says, he layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. If, if you if you live right, God will lay up sound wisdom as a reward. Sound wisdom is is, 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 is success. You know, we'll learn how to do things a whole lot better. We'll, we'll succeed in anything we do because God is with us. And, and we know being righteous means that being in, in, in good standing 
with God, living a, a, a good ethical life. Because many, many people, they don't have more to date. You know, people are doing in and everything nowadays. But as long as you got God and you'll, you'll want to do what is right. Amen. Verse 8, let me see if I can make it to verse 9. Verse 8 said, he keepeth the path of judgment. I'm so glad that God keep us helping somebody. The Lord is keeping us. No matter, no matter what you go through in this life, God is a keeper. He'll keep you in perfect peace as long as you keep your mind stayed on him. Amen. But yet, a lot of times we look at the world and the things that's going on around us. We look at our problems. And yet we stop focusing on God, but God will keep you. Wisdom will keep you uh, and he'll preserve you the way of his saint. Verse nine says, then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path. Understanding is a further result. Uh, seeking wisdom. A person can live a righteous, moral life when he has wisdom in his heart and in his soul. God's wisdom entering a person's and making them more godly or more like him. Amen? Amen. We'll stop there at verse at verse 10. We'll We'll start that verse 10. Be the Lord will on next on next Wednesday. I have two good, I have two blessed testimony. I want to share with God. All right. The doctor did a sonogram on my heart. He said, my, Oh, we never see my heart. I hear that man. Oh, that's a blessing. That's good. Everything's working fine. That's good. That's a blessing. Then I went to the eye doctor. He said, my left eye got 20-20 vision hmm. and my right eye is improved. That's good. You have to give me a shot because I got fluid oh. behind it. Uh -huh. Every time I like God is working on me. That's good. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. God bless each and every one that's on on Zoom, God bless you. Would you would you like to have anything to say? I, I felt I felt like preaching. Uh, Sister Banks, Sister Banks, she she started something this morning. I could never I could never get it on there. I could never get it on there. Uh, when 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 they were wishing uh, Sister Grill happy birthday, uh, she said every day of the day of Thanksgiving. I, I was trying to put that every day of, is the day of Thanksgiving on 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 uh, on the on the uh, on the text messages, but I. I could never get it because that, that's just the real song. She loved that every day of the day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Every day is her birthday. I said, yeah. okay. I told not just today, every day is her birthday. Okay. God bless you, uh, Sister Kay, Sister Neil. Hey, Sister Neil. Hello. Please. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, K. Hey, 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 K. K showing out this morning. What's what that name? was you said, K? Looking forward to get there. Looking forward to get there. <laughs> Looking forward. To get yeah. There. Looking forward to getting there. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love y'all. We'll close out with prayer. Eternal God, we thank you for allowing us to have a church going mind. Father God, we need you. We need you in our schoolhouse. We need you in our community. Father God, we need you in our church. We need you in our home. We ask that you will move Satan and all the evil that so easily beset your people. Build a fence up, head protection all around your people. Lord, be with our children and be with the faculties. Yeah. Lord, Father God, we we ask that you bring peace into this land. Yeah. Have mercy on, on us right now. For those that have lost loved ones, we ask that you would dry their weeping eyes. 
Lord, Father God, we thank you for all things. We ask that as we prepare to leave this place, that you never leave our presence. Go with us and con continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. Y'all have a blessed week. Enjoy the rest of the week. We love you. We'll see you the next time on the Zoom. Well, you know, sister, you know, son of all that. Yes, I did. I talked with uh, I talked with uh.